Hey Morningstar, for the past four weeks, we've been focusing on the power of our words, how we can use our words either to build up or tear down, to empower one another or to destroy one another. So here's another lesson for us, and, and it involves the deals that we often try to make with God. You know, just like anger is usually the trigger for us unleashing hurtful words to others, it's oftentimes those, those crises, those desperate moments which, which find us trying to make bargains with the Lord. And we've all been there, right? I mean, maybe we were young and, and in college and got wasted on alcohol and we promised God that if we didn't get caught, we'd never drink again. Or maybe a child got sick or, or a parent got sick and we promised God we'd serve him forever if he just healed our daughter or mother. There were a lot of people probably trying to make deals with God last week when the Ashley Madison website got hacked. Uh, Ashley Madison, I hope you don't even know what that is. It's apparently the, the place to go where when married people want to step outside their marriage and, uh, and have an affair with someone else. Uh, suddenly, when the website got hacked and all the information was distributed of all the people who were clients and had accounts there, uh, a lot of otherwise happily married men and women were, were potentially exposed as cheaters and probably making deals with God if, if I just don't get caught then. Hey, in the Old Testament book of Judges, chapter 11, we meet a guy named Jepheth. Jepheth was this mighty warrior. He leads the armies of Israel and they delivers, uh, gets delivered from one of their enemies, the Amorites. But, but one of the Amorite tribes, uh, namely the Ammonites, rebels. And Jepheth turns to God. And that's a good thing, right? Turning to God when an enemy attacks, turning to God at all times. But instead of just turning to God and seeking God's will and blessing, he tries to barter with the Lord. He tells God, hey, if you give the Ammonites into my hands, then whatever comes out of the door of my house to meet me when I return and triumph from the Ammonites, I will give to you. It will be the Lord's and I will sacrifice it as a burnt offering. Ugh, bad deal, right? And you probably know where this is going. So Jepheth, the Israelites, they, they win the battle. And when Jepheth returns home, it's his one and only daughter who is the first to come out to greet him. And I don't know which is the greater tragedy, friends. Jepheth's stupid mouth, the tragic vow he made to God, or the fact that he followed through and he sacrificed his own daughter, something that God clearly spoke against, the human sacrifice. Friends, listen, God isn't a deal maker. God has a will, and his will God's will involves blessing all the people of the world, especially those of us who follow him. And listen, he's not going to set aside his will for the entire planet to be a blessing and make a deal with you that somehow then goes against that will just to kind of get you out of trouble. But listen, here's the deal. There's no deal that you can make with God that's ultimately going to be better for your life than the will that he has for you. His will is always going to trump your deal both in terms of power and in blessing. So instead of submitting a deal to somehow negotiate with God, my encouragement is to submit. Submit to his will. Understand that there are often very real consequences to our decisions and actions. And often, unfortunately, the very best thing is for us to have to deal with those ramifications, the consequences of our decision, and to learn that even in the midst of those trying times, that God will never abandon us, that he'll be with us, he'll never leave us, he'll never forsake us, and that his power and strength are enough to lead and guide us all the way through. So listen, remember, God's will trumps any deal that we can make with him. Submit to that will and begin to receive the real blessings that God wants you to have to understand that he's with you, that he's for you, and that submitting brings blessing. Keep being the church this week, and I can't wait to be in worship with you this weekend as we kick off this brand new series, Redeeming Sex. We'll see you there.